Mm-hmm. I should. I was gonna. Yeah, no, I kind of choked up making that quite a bit, to be honest. Um, and it's, it's one of these things where the best part about making it was looking up all these videos of them, and it got me stuck on a very, very long, long rabbit hole of various interviews and videos. And I downloaded so much stuff on my computer, I didn't even know what to use for it. Like, a, you know, by the time I had all this, like, stuff, I was like, I'm going to make, like, a 45-minute intro at this rate, so I had to just pick my favorite thing and if anyone gets a chance look it up sport tv did a really cool thing on shalana and and him with the youth academy and it was um actually it's funny it's it's a very um it's something they did a while back it's something they did a while back and it was kind of talking about how the new generation of kids you know they just don't know they don't you know they had they didn't see these guys they didn't grow up with these guys and and that's not what they saw which is you know it's fine it's normal right uh, so for them, it was like a really cool video on it, just talking about how, where he came from, things of sort, his background, all, all kind of very cool stuff. Like it was, it was very well done. Um, so yeah, man, if you got a chance, I'll have to like post a link in the description or something like that for everyone. I'll see if I can find it here. But man, we got a victory though. We got a victory for Shalana, man. It's um, yeah. um, yeah, so real quick, Mario. You you said something. Yeah, the, these uh, these kids might not have known who he was or anything like that, but I think Benfica does such a great job of kind of like um, introducing the new uh, signings, the new youth to like the traditions of the past, the players of the past, whether it's, you know, uh, tours through the museum um, or it's, uh, you know, me- actually meeting these players in the back and listening to stories and, and having moments like that with legends. Um, you might not have seen them live, but you, you do end up knowing um, like what these players mean to the club and what these players mean to fans. Um, not just the club. I think the club is such a business type of, you know, like a, it means something to the club, maybe because they got wins or maybe because they produce money, but more more what he mean, meant to the fans. Um, I, I think that stuff is just indented. I think Benfica does a great job, um, like I said, of uh, just introducing the past uh, to the present. Yeah, man. And I tell you, man, I'll, I'll like I'll put it in the description once this video's done. I'll stick it in there. I promise to everyone. Um, and some people have already seen it, but it's a really neat kind of program to put together. And they talked about how like that the youth academy of the Shishal and how the you know that clip with the kids clapping for Shalana when he's coming down. It was mm-hmm. a, a very cool thing because they were showing he's just hanging out with them in, the, in these like auditorium with like that the screens up and the laptop and stuff, and they're just like watching old clips and videos of them. Yeah. And it yeah. was like th- their introduction to him. And then it has like the reporter telling some of the kids saying, oh, did you know he did this? Did you know he did that? And I was like, these kids, it's kind of cool. These kids are blown away. And it's just, it was very touching, man. Very, very touching. Yeah. 
And you know what? For me too, watching all those old videos, I'm sorry, Louise, but me watching all those old videos, it wasn't uh, when they call him a little genius and things like that. Cause I mean, what the plays that he made on the pitch, but you know what really stood out the most to me out of all the goals? Cause as soon as I heard that he passed, I went and watched highlights for like a half a day. You know what really stood out the most more than anything was his reaction to his goal scoring. Anytime he scored, scored a goal, how excited he was, the knee, uh, the, the knees, you know, goes straight to the knees, the, the fingers up. Like, it was such a, like, you could see how important the club was to him. You could see how important it was to, to you know, f- to win for this club. It, it was, it was that was the most uh, eye-popping thing to me, was just to see how uh, excited and, you know, his, his animation, how animated he was uh, and how, like, glad he was uh, when he scored for Benfica. I, I think you guys covered everything. I, I, I don't want to like snowball it into more and more. Of the, I, I'll just say, I think you guys both have beers with you. Right? I, I'll just mm-hmm. say to Shalana, guys, you know, just Cheers. sending off food like Cheers. Cheers. Uh, and that's that. Yeah, man. And I tell you, it's, it's a, you don't get these types of games very often where you have this like emotional backdrop, right? Yeah. It doesn't happen very often. Something like that happens, and uh, you're watching the match, and all you want, you want to obviously, you always want to win, but you want to win more than ever. And today, man, these guys came out. They came out, and they, um, and they, you know, they, they tried. They had a lot of pressure early on, and you're just as a fan, I, you know, I'm like, I'm all revved up. I'm watching it. Then the ten minutes come around, and one of those standing ovation, oh, and right there, like I started choking up a bit. And yeah, man, you just. Uh, and then you have a couple chances, a couple chances, and you're just dying for that goal, that event. And uh, when all, all, all from the tears to the cheering to the raw emotion to the frustration of things not going well, like I think every emotion was getting ticked off the box. You grab that big, you know, tick, tick list of every single emotion you can have. That happened within 90 minutes. I'm tired. You know, it's, it's early here in Canada right now, and I know it's even earlier out west for, for Alex. Very um, Yeah, it is. The sun's out. It uh, looks it, like, yeah. But it feels Very like hot outside. it feels like a long day. We've had a day. long day. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's early, but it's been a long day. <laughs> no, I, I agree. The, the pageantry, all the things before, um, all the things throughout, uh, building up to this game. I mean, even even other news, other than you know, just you know, obviously the biggest news. But there are a lot of things that we we can cover today um, that kind of led up to this today. But I'll tell you what. Um, I, I saw a, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I don't remember who it was, but I saw a, a comment on our YouTube uh, channel, um, Benfica After 90. Obviously, you guys yep. are here. Make sure to subscribe. Um, cheeky little plug. Um, but uh, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but I saw, I saw, um, I saw somebody say uh, that we haven't been really tested. We haven't fought, played a real test yet. Um, and I agree. I agree with that. You know what I mean? I agree. I liked it. I agree with that completely. I think not, I'm not saying Casapia was a test or anything like that, but you could, you could see where, where, where fatigue sets in and, and the Liga Nos is, is a really competitive league this year. I think it's one of the most underrated leagues in the world and all the world really it is, uh, the talent that comes through the, the signings, the amount of money that, that, that people are playing. Uh, paying Portuguese players to come. I mean, it's not really a farmer's league anymore. You know what I mean? It's really not that. You know what I mean? And these guys, Casapia, I can't even remember the last time uh, they played Benfica. You know what I mean? Like, how long has it been? You know what I mean? So they were going to come with their best. They're going to come with their – I mean, they're not necessarily at home, but it's a home game for them. I mean, they're going to give – I definitely expected to get the best out of Casapia, and we definitely got that in the first half for sure. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. I, I I'd say like even though on the calendar, what it was a home game for Casapia, in reality mm. it wasn't man because like it, the it hardly fans, is for anybody, mate. The Benfica fans, I think they only shut up as soon as we scored. As soon as as soon as, soon as we scored and made it one nil, they sort of relaxed. They you know what? Okay, we've got the one nil. They don't need us as much now. Let's take a breather because the entire game they were singing, they were pushing for our team and. Man, honestly, it was amazing to see. Amazing to see, like, how can you play in late year, right? Because if you think about it, both Casapia and Benfica are Lisbon clubs. Yeah, yeah. But we traveled all the way up to north, where most of the Liga Nosh clubs are situated anyway. So realistically, we played yet again another game in the north of Portugal, and it didn't, it didn't feel like that. 
if you told me that if he could play at home today, I would have said, yeah, no, it, they did. Because I would, I would say, home. I would say it's like, but if you Lied is like uh, between Lisbon and Porto, it's in the middle. It's it's Celtic Queenba. Ah, it's not. Anything it's not in the middle. Lisbon's it's north. not in the middle. But so yeah. <laughs> anything above Lisbon's the north. I mean, that's, that's yeah, that's true. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I, actually, you know anything. what? That's right. <laughs> Anything, anything north of above, Lisbon for me, the north it's for me, north. anything <laughs> above Santarai is north. Right? You've got Lisbon, yeah. you've got Santarai, and then you've got the north. It's as simple as that. Like, simple you know, as that. Yeah. Like, it's, there's not much to think about, right? It's like, it's like, not debate, you know? man. As, yeah, as, it's, as, like, it's like, you know, everything is a big blanket you know? on it. Like, when you look yeah. at a map, you have the Stadi Luge, you know, that highway right there that's technically north of the stadium. Anything on the other side of the highway is north. <laughs> it is what it is. Hey, real quick, I just want to shout out shout out to everybody in the chat, Benfica fans, Zach Silva. Uh, who else we got in here today? Nelson Ferreira, D, of course. Uh, yeah. uh short, like short men, Caesar the Silva, the VIP. We got Winger J. Uh, shout out to everybody. Mike Pimentel who just came in. It looks like uh what's yeah. going on, everybody? I, I I'll just quickly shout out as well. I know it's a Benfica podcast, but I I'll, I'll quickly shout out Brentford, mate. Like, what's going on? Oh, I know. Well, yeah, man, man, look at these guys. I love it. I love it. Personally, I love it. You know personally. what's funny? I made this exact comment this morning. So I'm, I'm watching in my room. I wake up. I, I'm watching the Premier League early in the morning. It's on. It's 6 a.m. In, 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 in California, right? So I'm watching games. At, it's about 9.15, right? And the countdown starts for, uh, for Manchester United. And I look at the TV. I says, you know what, United? I don't have time for this shit today. Benfica's playing. I turned the TV off. I turn. I just – I. Talking to myself, I said, "I've got time for this shit today. It's Benfica time, right?" I I go get ready. I come back. I, I'm watching the Benfica game. Twenty minutes into the Benfica game, I just look to the score. It's four zero at halftime. I'm like, I I fucking knew I didn't have time you for were. this shit today. That's Woo! It. Yeah, or I I was like this. I was I'm so, woo, shit. I got Benfica so like, me like you know like. Uh, yeah, now, like Benfica Zach, gives me Zach enough. Benfica gives me enough yeah, uh, worries. You know what I mean? Fuck. Zach messaged me that. saying, I can't wait for Fika to, well, he didn't message me, but it was like, I can't wait, I can't wait for Fika to start, you know, fuck this United. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. Hey, listen, listen, I, I don't have a dog in the race, EPL. I just watch as a passive fan, and my God, that's, the circus has been in town for a long time. And just as you think you're tired of that circus, the circus can't do anything new and shiny. Oh man, it's good, man. It's good. Hey, every uh, they actually started putting sound effects like uh for for Manchester United games here in the states. No, anytime a player flips, it goes whoop 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 whoop, and they slip and they fall, and yeah, every time to keep you in. You know, like they have to keep me in, like the cartoon sounds. You know what I mean? Like it's it's fucking crazy. What's that cartoon where there's a coyote and like the little like speed runner thing? Yeah, a wily coyote and a road runner. Beep beep beep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and That's and funny. United's Wiley Coyote right now. Yeah. They all, oh, everything's blowing up in their face. But Jesus. anyway, hey, tis, tis what it is, right? Um, tis I will say, is what it is. I will say though, it's it was pretty cool. Uh, I know it's it's not in Lisboa, and it's kind of odd, you know. Obviously, it's two clubs in Lisboa, but because of Pia's grounds, I actually visited before, and and it's like uh, just for those who've never seen it, it's like a little community club. It literally is a, you know, I think it's 2,000 people can even fit in there. Like, it's very tiny, very small. Um, could you imagine trying to get Bifikishas in a 2,000-seater? <laughs> like, that, <laughs> that would be tight. So, I, I understand them looking for a venue. I'm kind of glad they didn't pull a bell and went to the Jamor because I'm kind of sick of seeing teams by default on a 3 feet like, throw the Jamor. You know, Jamor, Jamor, that's its own thing. Leave for the Tassel Portugal. Um you know, if they want to stick closer, maybe see if they can rent out Stubble Stadium or something like that. But I, the cool thing is, for the size of the stadium was, it was attendance over twenty two thousand. It was like it was like a Bifi Kisha home game, away from home, um, and and it was kind of neat. I gotta say, it was quite neat. And then for for Bifika, man, I know some people are promoting it's a, it's a one nothing game. They have to grind it out. If you'll have to one, Bifika has not beat Casa de Pia in the first division in over eighty three years. Jesus Christ. Th these yeah, because they haven't been, been in the first division in 83 years. Because they haven't Mario. been them. <laughs> <laughs> Those who know. 
<laughs> and you, I was gonna say they haven't lost a game they're in like, three years of the first yeah. either until today. They're like the Boston Red Sox of fucking uh, the fucking second division. <laughs> they, they had they won now. They've won many now, but I'm saying a hundred yeah. years without fucking a hundred years yeah. without going to the show. Jesus yeah, Christ. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. All right, All right I got the uh, I got the the eleven here, man. Do I? Uh, I have hit, it, hit it, hit it. Hey, real, to... real quick, yeah. real quick, real quick, real quick, real uh, quick. Benfica, other Benfica news. What's up with what's up with Malaga, bro? They fucking up the church's money. It's no, it's for no. Horta for Horta. It's what's Saturday. It's what's Saturday. It's Saturday, bro. There's four core to talk about. They're like, we need to get something on Horta. Some news, some news, some like, news. Yeah, what, what are we is? saying? Yeah, yeah. Thought, I, I don't need it's done. It's it's done. All I, I see is Malaga's fucking shit up. That's what I see. I want more? They're they're threatening to sue. Shit like that. Is it just gossip? That they go, they could go sue Braga. That's a Braga problem. From my you know what? Midway, <laughs> there's a couple touches that Juan Mario had today that uh, would really piss me off. Like really, piss, I'm like Malaga is fucking pissing me off right now. That's how I felt. I'm blaming Malaga. <laughs> oh, every me off. That's what somebody does. Fucking Malaga. 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 That's all I was like, Malaga. 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 I said it. I said it here. I will only, I this, I will only take Arthur as guaranteed when he's holding that top next to Ricosta. Simple as that, man. Like, football is football. People change like change their mind. We're going to wake seconds. up tomorrow. It's going to be a picture of Andre hey, with a well, Benfica. We're be like, <laughs> no! This, 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 <laughs> oh, my God. Could you imagine? This would have been a sick game, though, for his first game. If they had sorted this out, like, uh, a week ago and Horta yeah. showed up for this match, that would have been one hell of a match for your first match. What, is it because he's a young kid? Horta? No, it's just Benfica, right? Well, they're all Benfica's. I would, have, all I would have, I would have, I was a little bit uh, surprised that uh, Diego didn't get a call up and play because he's a young kid and you know, like against Casapia, he probably would have done well. <clears throat> and their expertise, man. All right, let me just throw up the eleven. I gotta make a new video. I'm gonna, I promise, <laughs> I'll make a new video. So I'm not gonna even use the old one. I'm just gonna throw we this don't, up here. We don't use the old one anymore, Mario. We've, we we've really. made that. We've made that. Uh, it's like an obituary. We I'm said. Gonna, I'm good. Delete video <laughs> off there. Delete it. It's gone. Uh, that makes me make a new one. Um, but yeah, man. When do you guys want to read this off? Want to? Yeah. Wanna, uh, you you know, Luis, Luis never reads the 11, bro. <laughs> yeah. Let what Luis read the oh, 11. Okay. I don't think okay. Luis has read the hey, 11 hey, in four hey, seasons, bro. Can you, keep, can you keep that on the screen so I know what the 11 was? Yeah, uh, so, so you, you start with the back, okay, and you kind of go to the okay. next guy. Right, I got Hit this. it from I got the back. Sorry, and you go. Go. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. But if you if you say a twelfth person or a thirteenth person, you might be like into the the black section. Okay, and we do some segregation here. They stay on that side. Okay, so in go we had A Batista, then we had Zolotich. <laughs> oh, sorry, the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> no, so all right, in go we had. Odi saves when he wants to. Vlachodimos. Then we had Gilberto, which is growing on me like uh, something else. On the right back, as a right back. You got Otamendi and Murato. Grimaldo on the left. We didn't play in a 4 4 2, but I'm going to go, go with that. Jomari on the left. Enzo Florentino owning that midfield. Gonçalves on the right. Didn't look too good today. And then Ramos and our speedster, Rafa. Ethan is literally, you know, peeing his pants right now. He loves Rafa. Yeah, that's that's the eleven. That and then he got um, the main man today was Shalana. So he was there as well. So you know, in the middle of the pitch, just spreading that love, spreading that um, motivation for everyone to be playing. Tens all around, tens all around. And then a sheep, a sheep came on at some point. Bah, you bah. know, bah. Go, 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 bah. goal point thinks the uh, the sheep got the best one. The Liga gave it to uh, wait what? Ramsh. That's who got the uh, the player of the match today. So it's uh, it was, you know, yeah, I don't, dis- I don't disagree I got too much with him. He got the goal, man. Not too far off. He's the one yeah, that got to do the celebration. And he did. He, there was a lot of dirty work Gonzalo Ramos did in the in the box today. There's a lot of dirty work. I mean, it, it's hard to play when you got eleven fucking people behind the line. I mean, there was a point where Casapia had every single player, you know, on on one side of the pitch defending. I mean, Jesus Lord. I mean, when you play with one striker up top, essentially, I think he played well. I think he played well today. No man, and and Nevs he um 
My he couldn't. Was than he, he, nice. There we go. <laughs> he, uh, my understanding is he could have technically played today, but they just, you know, wanted to rest him a little bit, make sure he's okay for the Champions League. That's very critical. At the end of the day, we got yeah. three points. We got to advance in the Champions League. We got to do what we got to do. Right now, it's just back to back to back to back matches. Get the results along the way. Get stability. Get some kind of flow of it. Hopefully, a couple more reinforcements to manifest themselves. Absolutely. And yeah, man, it's uh, it's all good news, man. In my opinion. Just uh, mm. replying to be a Fiki fan, fuck yeah, bro. I would take Lafont. Is that Lafont the, from the French League? Yeah. Bro, that's La- like a fucking pipe dream, bro. Lafonda. I, 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 everyone plays, we all play FIFA. Do you know how mental his team of the season card is? That shit's <laughs> fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> that shit's crazy. If we're just basing it on that, that he ain't coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what Mel is saying is, if you're basing real life on a fucking blue card Video <laughs> on FIFA, yeah. it's not he's not coming. Too expensive, too expensive, too expensive. <laughs> yeah, always he? Because like yeah. he got, he got to spend real money. You don't, we don't, or, see, Befica, yeah. the club, does this transfer, though. Know, like, people play FIFA on that, that card game. There's people who spend money and people who don't spend money. Befica don't spend money. Oh, he said that card game. That card. I don't play the. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't play the Pokemon card game on FIFA. Hey, everybody's Never. thinking Mario's playing Sweka. You know, like, yeah. like fucking like little cards yeah. and shit. Yeah. Is that like the stickers? <laughs> I forgot what they're called. The stickers again. The collect stickers. The sticker book. Start with a P. What are they called again? Old school. Oh, pin, um, the, the, oh, sticker, panini. the Panini sticker. Panini. There we go. Panini. Sticker. There we go. There we go. Yeah. That was a fucking legendary. It was sick. Yeah, that's what Ultimate Team is about, though, bro. Yeah, anyway. That's pretty much it. Yeah. It's fun. Right. It's fun yeah, I got I gotta give a shout out to uh on the on the Casapia though. That Goodwin kid on, on their winger, he was good, man. I gotta say, Casapia, if they <laughs> play play, <laughs> play <laughs> 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 Oh man, but I think those guys are gonna stay up in the first division this year, man. I, I think if they play the way they do, um but he was a decent kid, man. That um Good one, I forget. I don't know his background, man. I don't know nothing about the kid. Godwin, he, Godwin, the uh, Nigerian Godwin, Godwin, Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, that, that guy. Hey, he turned hey, around. He Gilberto got, he pretty took, damn good. He got Gilberto out in sixty minutes this time, yeah. not seventy. It couldn't wait seventy. He had to go sixty this time. But also, also like what the many anyway, man. That guy, that guy gave. Mm. He, if he keeps, he does a couple more performances like that. That guy's gonna be gone. Real quick, uh, but le- looking at the, the the lineup, and we didn't really talk about our. our I was really surprised at the lineup. I'll be honest with you. I thought for sure somebody would get a rest on the back line, maybe Otamendi, right? I think we called that. Otamendi would get it. We'd mar- yeah. let Morato in. Yeah. I mean, well, he's kinda, got rest next week. Next week, he's got a rest. He's got a rest next week. I'm not saying, yeah, he's got a rest next week, but <laughs> I, I get that. But he's also playing this week. Yeah. Right? He's playing on, in a couple days, right? On the Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken, we play. Wednesday, yeah, yeah. Wednesday, right? So 15, why not sit him? Uh, yeah, why 15. not sit him? He looked terrible today. He, he was. He was terrible today. He got turned around. I mean, and I'm not even counting the red card. That that was bullshit, by the way. I know that we're getting, we're getting far ahead. Bullshit red card. I'm not <laughs> counting that. I'm just accounting the fact that he uh, his pace was exploited today. Uh, again, I mean, Godwin, the Nigerian nightmare, but he's from Nigeria. This guy's like, I mean, he was. He was good, man. He was good. He was I really him. fucking you good, know, man. He, 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 he keeps doing he this. Turned he, around, he turned around the whole right side of, the, of Benfica's defense. Literally. There's no, there's not, that's not a joke. He literally had us on skates back there. Yeah. If he was a little bit more efficient in front of goal, I mean, Jesus. I mean, we, yeah. we, we could have suffered early. I mean, this fucking guy had a shot in 22 seconds. In the first 22 seconds of the match, this guy's already taken a shot. I mean, it's far off, but still. He, he, I knew he was going to be a threat, and he he definitely introduced himself to Dominion today. Yeah, I man, I'm curious. I'm curious to see if he put, he put, uh, puts up a performance like that against Sport, Sporting, a couple of the other teams. That guy will be their standout player, and he'll be gone pretty quick. I don't know what the situation is with his contract, if he's just a low knee or how they have him, but, man, he's a neat kid. Well, I'm going to say is – uh, going back to what uh, Melo said about Otamendi, the second yellow and stuff like that. Like, I think the, the referee, like, I'm not gonna go on too much about it today because I don't have to. I, I think the first 15 minutes when he's just like slashing yellow cards around, I said yeah. straight away, there are yeah. gonna be red cards, there have to be red cards. Then in the second half, he stopped giving those yellow cards, so he fucked his entire like sort of reading of the game, if that makes sense. 
And then he gives it. I mean, like, what are you doing? Like, if, uh, if if you give that second yellow to Otamendi, then you should have given at least two before. Like, I, 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 poor. I, it was inconsistent on that side. Very but, inconsistent. But, but I'm going to say this much. When Otamendi got that second yellow, got that red, I wasn't shocked. As soon as you see that replay, Otamendi just, like, bear hugs a guy that he did not need to bear hug. He did not need to grab that guy and manhandle him. And the guy starts to break away. He's just, like... Throws his arms and takes him fully, tackles him down, or like it's just one of these things where like, eh, that if that was the other way around, and there was a Kazapia guy on a yellow, you know, and we're about to break out of our end, and one of their guys grabs, hugs one of our guys, and brings him down to the ground like that, we'd be like, give, give him the guy a yellow, and we'd be celebrating the red. I just and part, part of me should know better. He should know better as an Otamendi. This is why I love I love talking sometimes because I completely disagree with you, Mario. I thought that was a foul. <laughs> <on the> office. <laughs> I respectfully I thought it was <laughs> respect your respectfully, opinion. Respectfully respect your opinion. I completely disagree with you. <laughs> but I think um, it's utter dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> terrible take, Mario. Terrible take. <laughs> Whose side are you on, brother? Um, I <laughs> thought. I thought. <laughs> 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 that, was, that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> I thought, to be honest with you, though, I'm looking at it like, no, I thought the 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 uh, the 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 Casapia player he backed into it. I mean, he was kind of asking for it. He lifted Ultimendi up, even with the bear hug. Okay, fine. <laughs> he, even with Ultimendi still the bear, bear hugging him. Is the bear hug a yellow? Do you call a yellow at that, or do you only call a yellow because they went? You know, the, the awkwardness of the fall, the awkwardness of him lifting him up. I thought that was Kaz I was on Kaza P. I thought that was a foul. I thought it was a wrong call. And I ended up having to change my stream. I'm watching Gold TV in the second half. Um, and uh the guy Espinosa, whoever does Gold TV, he, he completely agreed with me. Uh, that's all I I mean when I when well, I said when he got when he, he got says, you're, right. you're right. Yeah, you're right, Alex. You're fucking right about that. It, it should have been, but it is what it is. I guess. <laughs> I'll see if I can find an like, image. Let me see if I can find an image. And we can like let the people decide. Because at the end of the day, I agree with you guys, though, that it was very inconsistent. The guy went quick to the cards early into the match. That was oh, one thing that surprised me, man. He was banging out cards left, right, and center. And I was like, shit, I was getting concerned. I think it was a good move by um, Schmidt to pull out Florentino. I, I felt like you know he was on a yellow, and the way this ref was whipping out cards, I, I was kind of worried that he was gonna potentially get get a second yellow, and also you know get rest them rest them up a little bit. But yeah, man, it's it's unfortunate. But it, at the end, they didn't change the results. So that's a good thing. You know, um, I think, um, and I just want to just Roger Schmidt today. I mean, he he had. I mean, I don't know. I, we didn't play well. We didn't play well. Let's just say that we won. That's great. I'm happy. I'm I'm, I'm happy about that. But we we didn't we didn't play well. We, we really played – we had in the first half, if I'm not mistaken, and I, I'm, this is just me off the top of my memory, we had 63 possession in the first half, two shots on goal. That means the rest of the possession was to Casapia, and you know how many shots they had on goal? Two. They had two goals. Yeah, they had two fucking goals. We had the whole – we had the ball the whole first half. We only had two shots on goals. I'll tell you what, it reminded me of like Benfica – it's kind of reverted. They look like last year, Benfica, where you got a lot of the ball, but there's nobody there really making any plays, right? Like, and I mean, like, uh, like, um, uh, electric, right? Netes, right now, we need a guy like Netes back. We need him back. You could kind of see the difference, right? Where there's no, there's That's no electricity. Yeah. There's no electricity on one right on the on one side of the field. So it's just like you're playing through the middle of the pitch the whole time. I mean. I'm glad that we have a guy like Roger Smith who can say, okay, we're playing through the pitch. Let's let's spread it out. We're going to start sending crosses into the box. And then, like, and I even tweeted, we'll unlock the middle of the field. Eventually that happened. They started sending crosses into the box. And the middle of the pitch unlocked. And we finally got a ball to go to, to trinkle into the, to the fucking goal. Um, but we definitely didn't play well. And I just think – some players, I think sometimes, and I want to say this about Grimaldo, watching Grimaldo today, I think some players haven't quite taken to uh, Roger Schmidt's uh, style of play right now. Uh, I, I, I see that with uh, the old guard, and, and I don't mean that with everybody. I just mean that with guys like Grimaldo, guys like João Mario, who, who's there, but I just don't think that they've grasped what's supposed to be going on on the pitch right now. 
There's a couple times Joao Mario had a, a couple opportunities, and instead of fucking taking a shot one time off a left foot, like imagine using your left foot. He he gathers it and just I just I, I don't think that, I mean it's just my opinion. I don't think there's a there's a couple players that are just kind of I think holding the offense back a little bit. Can I can I just say one quick thing? I I respect Alex's opinion to such a point where if he debates me, I gotta you know quickly check and say okay, how off am I? So I grab this. I ain't gonna play it. You know what? You're right. I agree with you guys. Here's the clip. You guys see the clip? You see the clip? I didn't. I didn't see the guy. He he did the old hook and the bum trick. You know. You see. Look at Otamendi. Yeah, he's all in his cool, bro. He got. He got him good, man. He hooked him. Otamendi, <laughs> like he's like, oh, shush, shush. Look at that. The pulsating action. No wonder. Like when he gets that card, Otam, I don't think he's shocked about the card. He's just shocked that he didn't get like a phone number. Yeah, uh, he's so, all in his so, cool. Get out yeah, of man, clue, yeah, bro. man. So I, uh, I take it back, man. <laughs> That that shouldn't that shouldn't have been a yellow man. That should have been a brown card man. Just the way the guy was like. Oh, uh, Look, I missed Lincoln Dodge, man. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, man. It's it's, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, you are I think playing that's a P after all. <laughs> oh, too soon, man. <laughs> too soon, yeah, but that's that's <laughs> like fuck years or forty. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Luis, yeah, we're playing Casapia, but we we won one zero. We didn't get a goal to like the seventieth minute. Like it took, it took all we had to take to take this team down. It was something missing today. Something was off. I, I think Todd makes a good comment. You know, maybe they're, they're I think it's a combination. Yeah, you know, the Shlana, the, the pressure of that, how the game you're looking forward to the the Champions. Do you know it's critical, man? They win against Kiev and get a good result, and they should. It changes the dynamic of potentially how this team feels for for the season, right? Like that, you know, that's a major, major objective. Um, and I do wonder, you know, how much that plays into the guys. Like they don't want to overextend themselves, they don't want to hurt themselves. And I say that, and yet Grimaldo got like gimped off the pitch, which I, I don't know how serious that is. So hopefully, that's not nothing to be worried about. I, I, I'll say a couple of things. I think main thing, and I think Mel have mentioned it already, and I just like recap what you said. We just don't shoot sometimes, and it, it was like echoes of last season, where we had like a couple of a couple of chances like inside the box. I like just shoot, and you're taking the extra pass, the extra little touch, the extra. Just oh, but I'm a I, I don't shoot well on my left. Just boot, man. Just boot the ball. You're so close to the goal. You got to get a corner. You got to get a rebound. It doesn't matter. And in a scary, and I hate saying this. I hate saying this, but it's weird. But it's. We sort of miss Neresh, even though he's only played realistically one game, you know? But it's such a difference when Neresh is there because I think even the players are scared, like the opposition, because he can just change that pace in a second and he can dribble and he can just he can just embarrass you. You know that if you go in and you, take the, you make the, the wrong decision, you can come out very embarrassed from, from, a, from, a, from like a one-on-one with Neresh. And I can't wait for him to be, to be back. And I hope that the injury or whatever the knock is, it's not too serious. Yeah, but I under, what I heard was that he's he's good to he was good to play today. It was just like a safety precaution. You know, they want that's him cool. in, in that game, which I mm -hmm. hope that's true, man. You know, I hope that's Me that and Melo said that. Me and Melo said that. We're, obviously, Melo said he was... Melo said that you, you, you were a little bit surprised that were no changes. I'm not. And I, the only reason I wasn't is because even though I was expecting... I also heard what the guy, the PSV fan said that when he finds the eleven, he doesn't change it too much, and I wasn't, I, I, I was a little bit surprised to be honest to see Diogo instead of Chiquinho. I'll be honest with you, I thought he's going to come up with the exact same thing and he's going to see if it works. I was so happy to see Diogo instead of Chiquinho. I was happy, uh, not thrilled, but I was happy. You know, what did um, you think about him today? What did you think about Diogo today? Just while you're. Is 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 not is not for us, is he? He's not for us. He's a good player, maybe to play in a cup, you know, maybe to like when when Neres is knackered and, and uh, you know, but he's not. I mean, the guy came off at half time, you know. I think that says a lot, you know. Um, yeah, he, yeah, you can. I'll give him a good him. run. I'll give him a good run in the, in the, in the league cup, maybe like a full a couple of full games and stuff. You know, it's not really going to hurt us. Uh, but I just, you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset. Let's put it that way. If we sold him to like Malaga, you know, or, or <laughs> <laughs> you know, or if we, 
Or if we like uh, gave him, or we loan him down to brag or some shit, you know, and then he scores a screamer against us, and we're like going crazy and stuff, you know, maybe that's what's gonna happen. The, the, that one year when he came back looked good, right? He looked good, and then he kind of fell off. And I just, it's one of those guys that kind of sometimes feels like he could be there, but he's just missing, he's missing that little extra bit in a bunch of different areas, and it's not not good enough. Um, but yeah, man, we got this big game coming up, man. I don't know if you guys want to skip ahead a little bit about Champions League. Is that okay? Or do I touch on that? I don't yeah. mind. Yeah. Just chilling. Yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, yeah we can chill. Chill. We got, There's not a script. We don't have a script. They're nice. Okay. Okay. Fucking nice. live. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're live. Look at this. This is sick. This is a sick little logo. We're playing I, uh, Porto? I, yeah, no. I uh, I like to say I take credit, but I just steal That N credit. is backwards. Somebody fucked up the spelling on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the no, it's not. It's an N for no name boys. Bro. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Hi. Okay. So, so we're going all the way out east to Poland um, because due to uh, – Oh, I was gonna say what? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it, it is. That's the Poland. Where, Wait, where, so where are they playing? Poland, Poland. They're playing. Yeah, in, but where about? Uh, it is. They're from um, Poland. No, no, they're from Ukraine. They're from the Ukraine. I was gonna say. Come, no, they but can't, they, but they're, 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 Ukraine, oh, yeah, 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 there, there's, bad, there's certain. Bad, bad, bad. I watch ESPN, not CNN. My bad, my bad. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. So the stadium is the. um Lodz City Council Poland whatever I uh, I don't speak Spanish the, I don't understand these letters. Um, I was hoping they would say dance because I've been to that stadium. It's LKS LODZ is the club that plays there. Okay. Uh, not no not that one not that one that one's they're more in the middle eastern part of the non yeah anyway you're gonna fucking see a drone <laughs> come fucking <laughs> you say it again. You're gonna be a God. fucking drone blacklisted man blacklisted. <laughs> I was gonna say JJ must I was gonna say JJ must have said something. Come on, that was that was fucking funny. That was fucking funny. That was good. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, I got an effort to press you guys out of here. Face. <laughs> Face. <laughs> no, man, it's good. It's good. It's um, it's going to be exciting, man. I'm excited. Um, You know, I was actually quite surprised that they advanced this far or they had a bit of a tight fight to, to qualify. Granted, I'm not being disrespectful to Kiev. I, like, I'm not trying to be that guy. They did not have, like, the most challenging opponent either to, to kind of make it to this stage. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, you know, they, they 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 basically were able to pull something off. They they're they Who'd don't they have play? a league. The young boys? Who they play? No, no, no. Stumgrass. Uh, some Dongrass. Who? Sturm Stumgrass. Stumgrass. Yeah, they're yeah. from Austria. They uh, from they, Austria. Yeah. They stumped them. They, it was like a, it's supposedly a narrow result. You know, they got off by one goal. The, the other team got a red card at one point. I think it went to extra time. Like I think it like they lost and they won in extra time. Like it was like a very tight. Against a weaker side, mm. Schwarzenegger um, must have been pissed. Oh yeah, he was like, "Ah, yeah. the chopper, the chopper!" But the uh, yeah, but I, I, again, and they, they got no domestic league due to certain events uh, that's covered on not ESPN. Um, and so there's nothing domestic going on. <laughs> it's like, it's it, strange. The, the, these guys, um, these guys been playing mostly charity matches, raising money for the Ukraine, which is very cool. But you know, I saw the match they played against Everton and stuff like that. It's all like charity stuff they're doing. Um, so you know, I think last year, yeah, last year's a bit different though. They didn't have a conflict going on. But, uh, yeah. Um, real oh, quick, Kiev. Um, we, you know, Kiev. Um, um Luis Chicken made Kiev? some good points. Uh, Luis made some good points on last week about Kiev. Uh, like they're they're not. We should win, but this isn't like gonna be you no know, walk in the park type of shit. Yeah, I was about like, to say that. Of, the, the players, those Ukrainian players, those those you know Eastern European motherfuckers, them motherfuckers are like tanks. You know what I mean? No, I <laughs> literally. I, uh, I mean literally. <laughs> li- <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> We are getting 
getting canceled, bro. We are finna get canceled. Y'all think we getting canceled? <laughs> Myra's fucked up again. <laughs> we are getting canceled. That's just this huge. Is crazy. What the day? I, I, I feel bad for a college source. Um, yeah, these are jokes. No, these no, are, I'm saying yeah. they're fucking tanks. I mean, literally, they like. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know the whole thing. They fucking <laughs> smash it. Yeah, they no, fucking it. come on, then. <laughs> you know, like, no, no, I, I get it. I got it. Yeah. I got okay. it. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think I think they just gimped their way through that last bit. I think a lot of their players are on act, you know, they're on active duty. The guys that are still on the team are guys that like dodge the draft. Um <laughs> they're doing like mostly charity fundraisers. Like these guys I, if Bifika don't advance, I don't yeah, care. That's the point. I no, I'll lose my mind. I'll lose my mind. If Fika, if Fika does not advance against these guys, I don't want to. I don't want to downplay it at all. Right, Zach. Zach, hey, no, he made a good point. Russia, they they've been playing those Eastern European, not Russia, but those uh, those Ukrainian teams. They're already they've been playing a while now. Is it is that right? No, because normally they would be. You're right, except that the country's blown up and their league is gone. Well, that means then they can't play today. Then how are they going to play on Wednesday? That's not a good excuse. They probably no, played. They're, they played they're, last they're, week. They're, play, they're playing in, in Poland. They, you know, they're, they're kind of. They're, they're, it's a refugee center for like. Not what I'm that, say, that's not like what they, I'm they saying. Fled what I'm the country, saying is, and there's tents and shit. They have not shit. played any. They, they've not played no league games. No, their last league game I think was. Let me find it. I'm going to find it here. It's been a while, man. I think it was like before Putin invaded Ukraine. Um, I mean, didn't the Blue Jays play in Miami? Right. <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah, no, it, it was it was spring, spring, spring early this year before the bombs came down, and then they've kind of done like this, like friendly games, you know, they they just for charity, and then they yeah. played, and they technically because it's by default their league was canceled, they said, well, I think you guys are high enough in the standards, I guess you get the UEFA spot, and and those Austrians. Fucked it up, and I'm like, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> fucked it up. I don't know, man. Fucked it up. <laughs> I'm just I, saying. I'm just saying. Like, if if we, if we could get like a narrow, like one nothing extra time victory in the second leg to advance, I, I'm gonna not feel good, man. I expect us to fight them a little bit better. And I know they're a real team. They're a real club. A year ago, right now they're not. Like these guys are not. You know what, though, Mario, you can't count normal. out a team like this. Either right, playing in Poland, backs against the wall, countries in the uproar. Like, yeah, but they, they got some play. They're playing. Yeah, pride. man. Yeah, they, they're, they're gonna pride. play. They're gonna play for sure. Yeah, man. Like it's it's uh, they're, they're just playing. They're playing for pride. Like this is this is all they got, right? So they play this, and if they advance, they're gonna sit down for a few weeks until the September rolls around. They get to play again because they, they got no league or domestic cup. I, I honestly, I I think they're gonna come out guns blazing. Yeah, uh, and they get. Uh, oh, they're fully rested. They got nothing else. And uh, they gotta go. They gotta go attack, attack, attack. And the game is gonna be a bomb. And we, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to like literally just fight and and go to war with these guys because that's, they you, so. they yeah. they you know they're gonna be you know shooting us like from. They're gonna go. They gotta come at us. This <laughs> this is. This is what they need. This is like <laughs> the highlight of the season, you know. So it's gonna it's gonna be a good game. I, I think it's gonna be a couple of good games. But we get to play in Lisbon. We get we get to play. We get to play second leg, Lisbon second too. leg, second leg, second, second leg is in Lisbon, yeah. which is yeah. probably gonna be more chilled for us, you know. Not so much of like you know stuff, but you know. Fucking shit. I want this is the funniest. This is the funniest last 15 minutes of the show has ever had. I hope y'all enjoy comedy. Like, yeah, because like, it's, is... it's pretty fucking hilarious. Oh, God damn. We got a joke. I, 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 I tried, I tried to find something, and it's just, I'm like, you know, ratching no up the. I have no, no shame. No, no. I have no shame. They have some good players, though, man. Like, uh, no, they do. Oh, okay. They have this blonde guy. I forgot his name now. He plays on the wing. He's a young guy. He's really fast. I forgot his name now. I actually know his name. Uh, because funny enough, I used to always pack him on. Like, I, I used to always use him on FIFA. Uh, I forgot his name now, but he's really fast and he can really like produce some damage. Is he, is uh, he still there? Is he still there though? No, 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 he's still there. No, no, he's still very much there. Um, hold on, because there are like, I'm not, I'm not this is actually jokes aside. These guys, like, several of the players are actually fighting on the front lines. Like, some of the players went, <laughs> they're not there, man. <laughs> No, 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 I know. Yeah, so respect to these guys. Respect, yeah, no, I respect man. those guys. Respect. You 
Um, but they some of them are like fighting proper, like freaking offside, man. Uh, players. Uh, what's his name? Oh, there you go. I got I got some congrats. Um while he's looking for that, I'll say what I'll tell you what, if Benfica yeah, yeah, played yeah. like today, if they came out today, like they, they play Kiev like they did performance today, it's not gonna look good, I don't think. No, oh, it's not no, gonna be good. No. We, 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 we could take an L. Yeah, we could take an L. You play like that today. And I'm not saying like again, we won. I get that. But the performance today was not it was I, I know if I know that Roger Schmidt probably threw a, a fit. Excuse me. Threw a fit when he went into the locker room. I mean, there's no way you could have been happy with that. No fucking way. No way. Like I see this comment here. I think this comment's like very true. I, it's I mean, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I have lost. Sure. Like I think like when you when you like I'm just gonna put this. This is like live footage of like what happened. Well, Right here, right here. This is all of a sudden, all of a sudden. That's the Brazilians are running away. There's a Kia manager. There's a Kia manager. There's a Brazilians are running away, man. They're running away. They're running away. Why are you running? That's it. Why are you running? That's it, man. That's it. That that that's exactly what's happening. It's most of the players fled. Hey, we uh we got Netes because of that running. Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah. On the other side, Bifiga's like doing this. Come to me. Okay, so this guy's name is Victor C. C. Hankov. Right, C3PO? I've seen him played. He's twenty-four years old. He's fast, man, and he's like a uh, he's like a right wing, right forward, and he, he can he can, he's no. These guys, they got they got good players. Kiev was like a legit team. Yeah. I just I'm I'm just thinking like again, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just saying they're going through a really tough conflict. There's a lot of bad yeah, things that have happened to them. They've lost talent. There's just like horrific sorry. things. We gotta win this, man. I, we got. We, we gotta I mean, do. I think. No, okay. do, do it for okay. Chuck. Let's let, 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 okay. With how I feel good about us smashing the heck out of this team, is let Chuck get like a hat trick, and then like he whips out the Ukrainian flag, and it's like, it kind of in a weird way we, we did it for Ukraine by knocking them out, right? So that's um, how we feel good about it. Didn't yeah. he score against? Didn't didn't he score against his old team? Last year, of course, he scored against someone. I remember, I can't remember who it was, but he yeah, his, against his parent him. club. I mean, the I think the club that he started off I'm with, pretty sure, I yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, right, I think yeah. he did. Yeah, I think he did. He did score a goal. And you know what, man, I, I really like Chuck. I really wish I, I, we got the team for it. I really mm -hmm. wish that we played a two striker kind of thing, man. I, I, I like Rafa playing number 10. I, I that's what he's playing, he's playing that, but. I just I find it like I just find it hard to believe that we're not stretching the field with a guy like Rafa and a guy like Netes, and then we're not bringing in a guy like Chuck and Ramos. Like it just makes so much sense to me. No, like, Ramos, Ramos is really good, match. man. I gotta say, going back to today's no, game, Ramos is amazing. Is but imagine, so good imagine relative him to last having year. a have him having a six five, you know, big body striker who could pass, who could pass, who who needs to learn how to shoot a little bit more, in my opinion, and just take the ball, shoot the fucking ball. But I just. I don't understand. Enzo and Tino are enough for me in the midfield. That that takes out Juan Mario. And I mean, you've solved a, a problem. You've solved a big problem. In my opinion. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I still think it's one of those games, and I'll, I'll back you both on that. We should be winning. Not so much because of our opponents. More like if we ever, if we want to make it to like, let's say, past the group stage. Let's just put it that way. If you want to make it past the group stage in the Champions League, then these teams should be easily done. Because yeah. you're going to get teams that should be a challenge, and you still have to beat them. You still have to perform. You still have to come out and go, beat, done. So if you're not... And this is no difference. I don't mean no disrespect. I'm just saying, if they beat... They beat JJ for the match. Well, anybody can beat JJ for the match. I, was, I, was like, gonna, I, I love that. I love that. When, yeah, I, when that happened, that all I'm great. saying is, if you're not beating the likes of, um, who, who, who did we just play? Fuck's sake! Oh, uh, right. Michelin. If you're not, if you're not Michelin, beating yeah, yeah. Mich Michelin, whatever, right? You're not beating Dinam Kiev. You're not beating teams like this, like Fenerbahce and and, yeah. and 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 the young boys and Basel. Then what's the fucking point to go to a group stage when you're gonna get like, at least. Two teams that are favorite, all right, and then a team that is achievable. You're gonna be dead last in that group. So what's the point? 
the money, fair enough. I get that. I get that. The money's good. But what's the point? If you're not beating these teams, then we're going to go there. We're going to get humiliated like the first two games. And then we're going to go home crying. You know, then just don't go. Then just don't go. Just say, you know what? We get Europa League. Fine. Thank you. And then in Europa mm-hmm. League, maybe do something better. You no, I, I think we could do. I think we make a. We could put up a good fight, man. We can make a good fight. You know, I just don't think this Benfica team is is built right now for, to be embarrassed, though. I, I think, and I agree with you. I agree with that. Like, what what are we gonna? What's the point if we're not going to beat these teams? But I think just I, I've I've said it week in week out since we came back. I just feel different about this team. I feel more confident. I feel like this team is a little bit more prepared. No matter what you throw at them, and that's kind of how Benfica has been playing. They'll give you the first five minutes. They want to see what you're coming with, right? Yeah, they they, they yeah. will. They'll take that pressure. They have done that in every match this season. Give you the first five to ten minutes. I want to see who you're coming with. I want to see your angles. I want to see what player you're going to highlight the most. Oh, it's Godwin? Okay. Oh, it's Sisto? Okay. You know, so on and so forth. I think uh, that's the one thing I do I do find solace in with this team is just we seem more prepared, well-coached. The, the the substitutes make sense. Imagine that making a substitute that makes sense. I, I called it. I says, yo, Gilberto today is not playing well today. He didn't play well. He didn't. His his uh his crosses were off. He made one too many moves. He just it was off. I says, Bob's got to come in. And he did. Bob came in today's match and he changed the face of the game. He really did. Now, defensively, he did get turned around. Defensively, he is young and inexperienced, and he'll have to get a little better defensively. But yeah. offensively. His his athletic his body type his athleticism it created the goal that 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 got us the win today it really did yes he lost the ball but he was able to recover get the ball back in space it gets to the middle of the pitch again the ball got unlocked to the middle from the from outside to the middle and Gonzalo Ramos gets the ball in I think though I, I, that's what is comforting about this team that that's my point is this team is well coached I think we're very prepared unlike past seasons with guys like JJ. And it I, just I, never I think, felt right. And I think there's upward momentum. I think there's upward momentum. Yeah. Ahead. yeah. I, I just pulled this up because it's a good question. I was actually curious myself. So I, I just did a little bit of research uh, for, for you, Fabs, and because I was curious, man, where, where would the pots land? So here, here's the official. I just got the, the Compitron 1984 edition and typed this up and printed it on one of those, like, once the little holes on the side. But anyways, um, this is a great site. Actually, I do like lying. They're pretty good with their data. So I guess if Bifika wins... You know, they'll be in pot three with Sporting Lisbon. <laughs> ah, they keep fucking it up. I love it. Um, no, they're just going to be so pissed when they see this. But, yeah, that'll be it, man. And so, technically, like Luis said, you could have, like, a Real Madrid and a Liverpool. That doesn't make sense. Liverpool would be in pot two? I guess so, because it was. Chelsea, Barcelona, yeah, cause C- C- yeah, because City won. City won the, the EPL. It's the, it's the winner of the Champions League, the winner of the top uh, four leagues over the are. Uh, and then also Porto okay. because they won our league. Why is Inter? Oh, because they won the Europa League. Okay. They won the yeah. Europa League. They won the Europa League. Right. So that's what bumps it down. So then you kind of look at it there, and then, yeah, man, supposedly that would be a pretty. That'd be pretty. You know, I wouldn't mind getting. Man, we can't. It'd be kind of cool to get Ajax. I like the Ajax again. They're they're hard, but it'd be a good time to get them, in my opinion. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to get the cheeky Tottenham. I, I, I like yeah, to play Tottenham. Yeah, yeah. Hotspurs, cool. Hotspurs. Whatever That'd they are, cool. yeah, get them, and, and then, then what, like uh, whatever at the bottom. A Marseille. No, I like usually a, a say. Nice I usually say. So give, 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 me, give me Celtic to see Jota. Nah, fuck I Celtic. Usually, I don't like hey, Celtic, man. I would usually <laughs> say that I would I would want Tottenham, but I don't I don't want Tottenham this year. Tottenham Spurs. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't want I, them this, this year. I'm not saying they win in the league hilarious. or no shit like that, but damn, they just look they look a little different this year. No, so, no, they look good. I'm not they saying look that really we're gonna fucking go there. Good. So the Sevilla, <laughs> Sevilla wouldn't be bad. Sevilla would be okay, right? Wait, where's Arsenal? Uh, wh- Ukia? 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 Where's Malaga? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking question. No, Mercy would be sick. Mercy would be they're, they're they're a fun team. I already like, know who we're gonna play. We're gonna play Bayern Munich because we do all the fucking time, I every time. Hate. Every hey, time we have the opportunity back. to play them, I think we're back. gonna play. I think it back. I'll take Dinam Zagreb, man. So we can we can go to Croatia, meet our brothers, uh our Duke Split, which they're actually playing now. They're actually playing now. And uh yeah. Hey Dinamo's got a good team, Zagreb. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got That's a fun, really man, good team we, this we've year. Got, we've got our brothers, Adric Split, man. They, they're there waiting for us to support us, bro. So it's all good. I would, yeah, I no, I'm, just, that. I'm just talking football. I'm just talking football. It's like they yeah. a really solid team this year. Really? For just for like, football. Yeah, man. I was looking at this the other day with my boy because he thought we were playing Zagreb. And I was like, no, bro. Yeah, no, the the, the, t- the toughest pot one and two one that would suck. Like Alex said, Bayern Munich. I hate Bayern, I hate the Germans. You know, despite us having a German coach, I hate based in Bayern Munich and Liverpool, man. With Darwin there now, I would not, it would not feel. Uh, they, they took it. Oh, they're losing uh, right now. Are they? They fate. Mm-hmm. I don't care if they win. fight. Fight fate. That's what you get. Wait, we, we, we got right no now. refunds. No refunds. Well, by Munich, Whirlpool. Now Liverpool's not playing right now. It can't, they can't be. Okay, I gotta check my life score for whatever score it is. I don't know. Alex is watching like the A's or something. That's no, like, like, no who's kidding. losing? I'm just kidding. Ah, PL. PL's finished, bro. Who's we, we, talking about? we could play, we could play lost track of everything that's going on. Who's <laughs> losing or who who lost? <laughs> You said they're losing right now, and I was like, "Who?" Oh, Zagreb, Zagreb. Ah, oh, this I guy, know. This, this, this guy well, is digging deep on. Uh, he's, he's digging deep. Yeah, deep they on. are. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I fucking said. <laughs> <You fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> I want uh, my name AC Milan from Pot One. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, um, that's good. That's good. Yeah. You know, who they wouldn't be too bad. I don't want to play Scottish teams, man. Why is that a Scottish laddie? Hey, bro, yes. you know what? Scottish I always I say this all the time. Every time we start playing the world, I start my, my balls get bigger. I start saying, you know, fuck them. Fuck, we gonna yeah, beat exactly. their ass. We gonna beat their yeah. ass. So bring on Tottenham, bring on Bayern, whatever, whatever it is. Give us Barclay. Bring all on of them. Bayern. Hey, all what? of them. Give me Madrid. <laughs> Let's just redo it. Give, give, me, me, Madrid. give me Madrid. Give me Madrid. <laughs> give me Liverpool. Give me Liverpool. Give them. Give, 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 us, give, us re- give us a repeat. Give us Bayern Munich and Barcelona. So we can beat Barcelona again, and their fans can have another conniption about getting knocked out by Mifika in the Champions League. No, no, no. I mean, uh, how the fuck? Barcelona, how the yeah. fuck is Barcelona not going through some court? How is Barcelona? What the fuck is happening? I can't. They couldn't afford Grimaldo, so I'm glad about that. So they were in shambles last year, and this is not Barcelona because I can't stand them anyway. They were in shambles. They were in such shambles. They tried to start a super league. Now, all of a sudden, they got Rafinha for 70, Lewandowski, fucking Bernardo Silva's coming for 60. But they didn't pay what's like, what the wages. They didn't pay the guy's wages, the uh, Dutch guy. Oh, God. Frankie, they, don't, Frankie, yeah, they Frankie. don't want to. And then, and, and you know what? I love, hey. how, I love how the media is. Look, Frankie don't want to go to United because Barcelona owes me $18 million. I'm not fucking going nowhere until <laughs> they give me my money I, right I, now. I think your house until I get my money back. <laughs> yeah. I, I just love how the media plays it like, oh, he doesn't want to go to Manchester. <laughs> I get it. But stop. Stop. They're in yeah. shambles. But money is money. is money. Pounds are yeah. pounds, right? It, like, fucking Morris, stop Morris, it. You, you know how sad it would be if we faced Manchester United in Europe this year? Because that means we got to, like, drop down – Three We're tiers. We gotta go Europe, from Mario, We're gonna to be the like Confederations Cup or it is, man. That would be we're such a. Ass. We're not oh, a rebuild. I would cry. No, yeah. they, not a rebuild. Fuck. <laughs> but it's exciting, man. It's exciting. Hey, you guys want to do uh, Shadis the match? Should play the match all the fun stuff? Let's do it. This is uh, the first show I've been in a long time with you guys. And there's a little bit of uh, sadness that kind of hit me as I watched that video. We'll never have another Andre Almeida show these ever again. I never, don't, don't, never say never. Never say never. <laughs> Joel Mario's kind of taking that spot right now. So, uh, <laughs> don't, count your, don't count your Joel Mario's before they hatch, uh, my brother. I'd like Versailles. I think it's <laughs> for fun. It'll be fun. But don't count your Joel Mario's. Don't count your Joel Mario's. That guy, I don't know, man. That guy, don't 
Don't show, don't count your draw my deals, bro. He's, the the hatch. He's got that egghead and everything. It's a perfect setting for him. I'm t- uh, he is he is the most regular player, and I, I'm not even saying he's bad. He's way better no, than most no, people no. for sure. He, he is he's the most so sporting regular. player on our team. Oh my god, the most he's eighteen year at the most eighteen year ass drought I ever saw in my life. That guy, like, lots of potential, looks good, but never good enough to win something. You know that hey, that sporting, is <laughs> sporting fans. Either you're like seventy nine years old or you're thirteen. That's like there's no middle ground. It was. <laughs> <laughs> like this, I haven't met a 25 year old sporting fan ever. All right, you're either 70 or you're fucking. Hey, 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 you played a sporting fan, bro. Wilson is 32. Oh, <laughs> hey, he's the only one, though. He's the only one. The only one. He's the only 32 year old yeah. there is. <laughs> Wilson's trying to get that other is, motherfuckers, the other 32 like year olds. At the cafe. Yeah, come on, come, come on. Everybody's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. TFC tonight. Yeah. All right. So who wants to kick it off? You, you, you want to kick, 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 kick it off? You kick it off. I kick it off. I kick it off. it off. We all right. We've had some shooties. I've had. You've had some shooties. All right. You know what? Let's start with the shooties. I was. Gonna, I'm not gonna. I was. You guys almost changed my mind, Joe Mario, but I'm gonna go with Diego Gonzalez. That's my shooties. I just. No. It's, that's, so this was his chance to kind of shine because, you know, he's kind of lost his spot, starting spot on the team. He kind of a little misfit. You know, you know, when uh, everyone else is back and healthy that you don't really want – you're not clamoring to see him back in the starting 11. He blew an opportunity, in my opinion, especially, you know, against a team like Caspia. No disrespect to them, but you got to show up. Um, and to me, the player and play of the match – well, I don't know if I'd say the – no, I'm going to say the play of the match was the goal. That was the goal. Shalana, the celebration, all that. That's the play of the match for me. Play of the match is uh, Shalana himself, the main man here. Like he, he, he did it. He's a legend, man. He, he, he's Most part of the nice. Mishtika. You know, the Mishtika, the club. He represents that Mishtika. And if sometimes, if you ever feel like the club's lost some of its Mishtika, when you dig into the archives and you see what this guy did, you understand that Mishtika a bit better. But the coolest thing is to see him, Shell, and all the other guys at the club. Um, watching this whole thing, seeing interviews with Nuno Gomes and all these players that have retired now for a few years that were more recent, that are involved with the club, inside the club at times. You know, the Mishik is there. It's inside, man. It's it's a sad part. We lost a piece of the club. Um, but at the same time, the nicest thing throughout this was kind of seeing the various clips of what he was doing in the club and how much love he had and the various trainers and, and guys that work inside, you know, just – it's there. It's there. It's just, it's, I think it's starting to come out. And I really hope that Rui Cross keeps building up on, on the momentum he's doing right now at the club. And we see more of this come out. But yeah, man. Nice. Mel, do you want to go? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Should he see the match for me? It was Otamendi. Um, he just, he looked old. He looked slow. He, 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 had, he, couldn't, he, he, couldn't, he couldn't take the finger like a champ. You know, like nope. you kick him, nope. you, you, you you flat both your feet down and you just take it like a champ. You got lifted and, up. Yeah, and I know this is normally, you know, I give the play of the match to a Benfica player, but the play of the match, the reason I give the, the Shadis to Otamendi, the play of the match was Godwin turning him around. There's nowhere to go. Literally, no there's no nowhere. No there's sick. nowhere. It was nasty. I was like, oh, shit. I like, God, elite. My thing is, like, you had nowhere to go, right? And Otamendi fell for that shit. And it only fell for that shit because he has been watching this player. That player could have made that cut. Like, you know what I mean? In, in Otamendi's mind, that player could have made that cut. He could have he could have got past him in that way. He turned, he got turned around like so easily. And it was really gross. It was the it was yes, the goal was nice that got us the game. But like the reason I'm giving my Shadis is because that play stood out so much to me. I'm like, oh my god, like Otamendi looked bad, right? That in the front, that one play gave me, you know. Sharice, all right, that, I'm going to have to give you the Sharice. And then he gets the red card later on, and we saw it. And it, I'm not saying that he deserved that. It was definitely should be rescinded. The league should definitely go back and look at that and say, that's not a red card. I, honestly, that should happen. I, I'm not – I'm sure that happens sometimes, right? That That's a – that's a we, we got to take that back. Um, And then my, my, uh, my player of the match for me 
Um, I'm gonna give my player the match against Solid Ramos. I completely agree uh, with the with the goal point. Whoever gave him the, the man of the match, Solid Ramos played. He played gritty, as a uh, couple people in the chat said. Uh, he was just playing. He was just doing dirty work. You know what I mean? Uh, Gonzalo Ramos is not necessarily the guy who's going to go out there and, 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 and you know, do step overs and do fucking chilenas. He's not doing that. He's just going to get in the spots. He's going to create danger. He's going to cut when he needs to cut. And, he, and he's going to score goals when, when Benfica needs to, even if the ball trickled. I don't care how much of a foot he got on it. Um, the, guy's a, the guy's a machine right now, right? So I got to give the player to, uh, the match to, to him. Um, I'll go real quick. I, I think, I mean, I, I, I'll try and be different. Uh, I think it's very, you, you got to, the player of the match, it's either Gonzalo or Shalana. You know, obviously, Mari gave it to Shalana, he gave it to Gonzalo, I give it to both of them. You know, obviously, we speak, if we're speaking about tonight, I'll give it to Gonzalo because of the, exactly what you said. He, was, he played that, um, that role where, you just don't get a credit for anything you're doing because you're making the runs in behind, opening space for the others. You, you're fighting without the ball, with the ball. You, you're trying to find space. And, you know, even his goal, everybody's saying like, oh, you know, it's a crappy goal. Man, like he's alone in that box and he's trying, you know, just the fact that he got there, he got the space, he, he managed to put... And the thing is, when he goes for the second touch, he's already going, I'm going to score this. Because he, he before the ball is in, he's already like sort of turning around to celebrate. Because that's what he's been doing all night, and it's one of those roles where not not you wouldn't say you wouldn't see like Ronaldo doing that, or you wouldn't see because they wouldn't want to do that. I don't want to run for nothing. I don't want to you know open gaps when I'm not going to receive the ball. Somebody else is going to receive the ball and take all the credit. But uh, no, he was doing that the entire game. It, it was and so that for me it was a player of the match. Uh, Followed by Shalana in in, in in a very close second. I, I think it was it was beautiful yeah. to see everybody. Uh, you, your mic's still on, though, bro. Um, oh, yeah, uh, no, it know. was it was okay. It was beautiful to see uh, sh you know like everybody coming onto the pitch with the Shalana get uh, Shalana, Shalana on the back of the, of the jerseys. It was it was beautiful. My was. play of the match. My play of the match. Um, It's either the goal again because of the same exact reasons of just fighting and, and, and trying to get those three points, um, or, or, or the sending off because they, they, I think they're the two key moments of the game. Whether you think that there's a sent off or not, I, I, I still give the goal because again, I'm not going to repeat myself, but everything I said for the for, for the for the Gonzalo man of the match, I'll say for the play, it was. Just keep on going, man. We, we, we're trying our best to, to win this game and uh, find the gap and, uh, and kick the ball in the back of the net. My Shorisu, um, it's, uh, for me, it's Diogo. Uh, and for the same reason that Mario said, like, you came on today. I was excited to see him more than Chiquinho. I was happy that he came on. But he didn't make a difference. Uh, and I, again, I'm not expecting a 30-yard scream or some shot. I'm not expecting that. But I'm expecting crosses. I'm expecting like runs in behind. I'm expecting like little, like, you know, support. And it was almost like there was no support. You know, the players like, where, where, where is our guy on the wing? Where is our guy? Where's the overlaps, the underlaps, all this sort of that? I didn't see any of that. So, um, yeah, for me, uh, he gets the shoes of the match. So that's me, dust, done and dusted. Um, Boris brought up the next league match. And, I know it's Bolvisha, but then on the schedule it says Pashfe. I got kind of confused. I'm still confused because I wanted just on the official league site. Um, and I'll take this. So we play Dynamo Kiev in Poland on Wednesday. And yeah. then we have no match this weekend. But the, everyone else plays. All League of teams play this weekend except for us. Then we play Dynamo Kiev in, in Lisboa. And then that Saturday we play Bolvisha. And then we play our third. That's the fourth Jornada. We played the third Jornada right after the Bovista match, like, three days later. I don't understand why that Bifiga match got moved. I don't know what's going on. Doesn't make sense to me, but that's what it shows up on Google. I didn't believe it. Don't trust the internet's kids. So they moved lives. four to three and three to four instead of just no, we just don't play. back? Next weekend, every team plays except for us. Like No, next week I'm, I'm talking about the next games, though. The next week, we play our the fourth week team, no. and then after that, no, we no, play no, the no, third no. week. I heard we, something no, like that. No, we just don't play. We just don't play. Everyone else plays. We get a free weekend. No, 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 no. But we have to make up a game is what I'm saying. Yeah, so, so yeah. So, so, and then, because we play midweek, then that following weekend, it's like week four. We play our regular week four, and we make up our game then in the middle of the week. So it's kind of 
It's weird. Instead of just like pushing back and just playing the next team who are supposed to. Oh, because they have to go about their yeah, business. Yeah, they got to go about the gotcha. business. Gotcha. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what the, I don't I'm know selfish. What, I'm yeah, selfish. I, I, I yeah. don't know if there's a story. Um, no, they, I'm sure they have their yeah. own league game. You know what I mean? No, I just don't get the why we're not playing. But well, I'll take it because for us, we're in the Champions League. So. You know, whatever. Because we, it's it's still the it's still there. Liga Nosh, Liga Nosh. You know, it's Liga Nosh. It's still you know, Liga Nosh. It's not Liga Nosh. It, it, it's not it, called that. Yeah, it's not like, it's but it Liga. Is. It will forever Pat be Liga Nosh. Yeah. So so the Liga, what happened was, so I'm I'm just kind of reading into it now. You know how they only like two days in advance tell the match schedule? Jean Maria at the Liga schedule forgot to check the schedule and forgot to add Bifica's match. Because it's only like they only release it a, you know a week or two in advance when these fucking teams play in the Stan Lee. They have like such a poorly structured thing that there's probably some kung out. Um, but yeah, man, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Whatever. I'll take I'll take the break, man. If that's if that's the official reason, I don't know if that is. I'll take it. Either way, it's we gotta be Kiev now, man. We got a break. They got a break. Yeah. There's no excuses. Then it should be ready to go. True. Everybody should be ready to go. Maybe that's why that maybe that's why Roger went out and just said, you know what? We're gonna run them all. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's yeah. the one, man. That's it, man. No, I I missed you guys. It was nice, you know. Thank you Same. for, for Same allowing Mario. me spend some quality time with you guys. It's been a while. It's been a long time since I've seen a match. It's been busy times, but it's busy uh, week. Busy week, busy life. I'll be um, ready to uh I'll be ready on the I think I, I I'm I'm ready to go Tuesday. I'll be good to go Tuesday. It's uh we could do it right. We could do probably do it right after again. Like what time's it'll the be, game on Tuesday? It's at twelve my time, so one two. So it'll be over at two my time. So that means we usually start at three my time. So we can go right after if we need to. Where's uh Joe's been on a journey in life? He's been is it Portugal? Joe's been he's drunk been, in yeah, Portugal he's, he's been there for ages. Fucking guys, man. So. Uh, I, I if we go we're right after on the game, milk, we're gonna have to put them on a milk carton. <laughs> yeah, There's so the game missing. is at eight o'clock my time, right? Yeah. So eight forty-five now. So if we go at like say ten, ten thirty, yeah. my right time. The game. I'm okay with that. Anything later than that, I'm actually uh, yeah on Wednesday. I'm starting pretty early, but yeah, right after the game, like half an hour, fifteen minutes, half an hour after the game, I'm good with that. Yeah, I'm I'm mm-hmm. like I'm dying at work, but you guys and either Joe, Ethan, I don't know where Mr. Dunbar is, but you know, I think said, Joe is, is out until Mr. Like FA Cup, bro. Mr. FA Cup be too busy. Mr. FA Cup, F- F- Mr. FA Cup is too busy for us he's because because uh, Joe comes back, well, goes back to America on the same day I go to Portugal, which is the fourth. So I think until then he's out. I think I could be wrong. He couldn't bear to be there with you in the same country, huh? I know. Yeah, yeah, no, man. <laughs> when he booked the flight, no, no. When he booked the flight, I said, "What are you coming?" I said, "The fourth. He said, "Okay, well, I'll make sure I'll leave before you get here." Like, right, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You hey, know what? Hey. So there might not be there might not be enough room enough, you know, for two two giants to be. In the yeah, same dude, hey, yeah. Portugal, yeah. You know, yeah. legends. <laughs> Portugal is big. Yeah, Portugal is big in the heart, but it's small from a geography standpoint. And those guns ball as you see. Mm, mm. Just it, it wouldn't work, man. It just wouldn't work. It'd be you know Portugal would like you know it'd be off balance. Not enough, yeah. not enough coup in the country, bro. Not enough coup, man. 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 He's on. Uh, he just tried mounting him. That's all he did. Ultimately, he's like, "All right, I know uh, the position." He just like opened his legs up and hopped on the guy. And I've done this down. before, at Porto. You know, yeah. Like, <laughs> Ultimately, was, was on his rascal scooter today. Was God, God. He, he was on his. He was on his. Uh, his. Uh, he's an old man. Shit. Really. He was done, but, man. Yeah, man. We'll see you guys Tuesday. Then all I right, guess, man. right? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace. I'm gonna Peace. exit Peace. out Peace. with Peace. The, Peace. a tribute. Okay. R.I.P. Legend. R.I.P. Legend. Tô para chorar a trilha. Opa. Ah.
fuck was that? What the fuck was that shit? Who is that? 